What's up guys, Daryl from Smart Shooters. And today I figure since I'm out of town, it's only right to do this video because I may have to move out of Michigan. Let's talk about the Michigan Assault Weapons Ban. I have it pulled up on my laptop, but the bill we're talking about uh, in Michigan is House Bill number 6544. A bill to ban the manufacture, possession, purchase, and sale of assault weapons. To provide certain powers and duties for certain state and local officials and agencies, meaning they can still have them, to provide the rules and the penalties. Let's check this out. So, Michigan will no longer be home to me if this passes. Uh, I just started Rustic Arms. We are at SHOT Show 2023, networking, getting to know people, finding suppliers, finding people who wanna carry our products, all of that. And the most frustrating thing in the world is the thought of now that my company's taken off, um, for whatever taking off is worth, you know. Um, now that it's taken off, there's a chance that it could just be over. So, here's how the bill reads. Section one, as used in this act, and forgive me for looking off camera, I'm reading off my laptop. Assault weapon means a semi-automatic rifle that has the ability to accept a detachable magazine and has one or more of the following characteristics. Either a pistol grip or thumbs hole stock. Any feature capable of functioning as a protruding grip that can be held by the non-trigger hand. Yeah, okay. A folding or telescoping stock. A shroud that is attached to or partially or completely encircles the barrel and that permits the shooter to hold the firearm with the non-trigger hand without being burned, but excluding a slide that encloses the barrel. Okay, so now we're gonna have to make ARs with slides. Could be kind of cool though. Beginning January 1st, 2024, a person shall not manufacture possess, purchase, or sell a firearm in the state. This would make Michigan the worst state in the country when it comes to gun control. Stupid, all right? Any person that continues to possess an assault weapon that person, or that the person legally possessed before the effective date, we can continue to possess it if the following apply. If we register it with the state police. All right, so now we have to register our ARs like we do pistols. You have to renew that registration every five years and knowing Michigan, they're probably gonna charge for it. So they're illegal unless we register them and you couldn't pass it to your kids. You couldn't sell it to a gun dealer. Gun dealers can no longer sell them, stupid. Anybody who violates this is guilty of a felony, punishable by imprisonment for not more than five years. Yeah, let's talk about it. I'd like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Muse GR. Muse GR is an interactive art gallery with two locations currently on the west side of Grand Rapids and on the southeast side, right in my neighborhood. Muse donated all of the media tools that we would need to cover SHOT Show 2023. Shout out to Muse GR. Visit them at www.musegr.com. Assault weapon bans never work, right? There's other states who've tried this, and this is why they don't work. Number one, criminals do not obtain firearms legally. I should say most criminals uh, know how to get a AR if they wanted an AR, right? They don't have to go to the gun store. And the only person that does go to the gun store 
to buy their firearm typically is law-abiding citizens. So you're not gonna stop. This ban won't stop guns from being on the streets. Number two, criminals will not all of a sudden comply just because you put this rule out there. This rule is not gonna make criminals say, oh, you know what? I should just take the, the illegal ARs I own and go register them. Yeah, see how that worked in other states. Of course, this law only affects law-abiding citizens. Right? We're the ones who go by whatever the law is. We're the ones who could submit the background checks and everything else to get the guns that we desire to have. This only affects us. It doesn't affect criminals whatsoever. Other than by saying if you get caught with one and it's not registered, they're giving you five years in prison. States with current weapons bans have not stopped gun violence. Look at California. California, you can only have what's on the list. How'd that go for gun violence? Look at New York. New York made people jump through hula hoops standing on crushed glass while it's on fire and sing the national anthem in order to get a concealed carry license. How'd that go for crime? <sighs> Today's sponsor is also ourselves, Smart Shooters. Smart Shooters is a training and education company that specializes in educating our people. Today, I want to highlight our online store. Click our menu tab, head to store, and you'll see everything from our newest ebooks to sweatshirts, uh, hoodies. The I'd Rather Be at the Gun Range is a favorite of mine. Um, here's one of our coolest shirts here The I Rather Be Judged by None and Carried by Nobody. Um, select size and color. We have multiple colors, good quality shirts, 100% uh, ring spun cotton. A lot of them are pre-shrunk, so you don't have to worry about washing them. But there's lots of options for you on the Smart Shooters store. You're just going to go to www.smartshootersllc.com. Click on store. Let's talk about four things you should do in case this bill passes. Like before it passes and before January 1st, 2024, here's what you should do. Number one buy any rifle you really want to have. If you've been thinking about getting an AR, get it, okay? And the worst part about it is in Michigan, so many people are waiting because they're like, oh, it's never gonna happen in Michigan. We got too many hunters. Yeah, good luck. There's lots of states who believed it wasn't gonna happen. And then it happened, especially with Michigan being full Democrat majority in the House and the Senate. Um, I think we, we, we got to take this seriously. I'm not going to say it's not going to pass until it gets shot down. Number two, get your rustic arms, rifles, and loaders. Um, because prices on everything is only going to go up. The price of ARs is going to triple if this passes right because everybody's going to be rushing to get it so you can at least own it before they're outright banned and dealers can't sell them anymore Jan if this passes january 1st 2024 dealers can no longer sell ars there will be nowhere to you can't build them anymore build kits will not be legal to ship to michigan anymore like it's going to be over so if you were going to build something Now's the time. And if you're gonna get erastic arms, now's the time. Third, stock up on magazines. I wouldn't be surprised if this passes. The next thing they go after is high capacity magazines. You wanna get as many magazines as you can, uh, 30 rounds, 60 rounds, whatever, have them. So they'll at least can be, you can be grandfathered in. So once this passes, dealers if that passes then dealers probably won't be able to sell those either then the fourth thing that i highly recommend if this passes is move out of michigan which is what i'll be doing um texas might be calling my name vegas has been kind of cool since i've been here i'd have to figure out something because i definitely don't plan on giving up on my dreams just because 
people decided that they're scared of assault weapons. It's not even a thing. So that's it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Michigan, call your representatives. Let them know that we don't want this. We want to be able to remain a free state. Um, we have enough stupid rules and laws as it is. And this one would just be, it wouldn't even be the straw that broke the camel's back. It would be literally dropping a building on the camel's back. Like this right here, we don't want this, right? And it's crazy because like my legacy is in jeopardy. The guns that I have that I want to leave to my kids, um, stuff that I have that I believe will be worth a lot of money. Um, because this wouldn't just be ARs, this would be like AKs, this would be a lot of stuff. Uh, it probably would even include some shotguns that take magazines, detachable magazines. Um, so it, it's gonna get deep, it's gonna get sticky, man. Call your representatives, tell them we don't want this. But other than that, I just gotta pray to God every night that um, the people that be don't pass this bill because like, what the heck? I'm stressed even thinking about it. Anyways, I'll see y'all next video. Peace.